Hey guys, what's going on? This is Prasad Nayak here, and welcome to Tuesday Tutorials. And in this video, I will tell you guys on how you can make a attractive looking custom thumbnail for your YouTube videos uh, in Photoshop CS6. So it will be pretty easy to make it. You know, just I will teach you guys in just very simple steps. You can easily follow me. And so let's have a look and let's move on to the tutorial. So guys, you can see this nice looking background over here, the live tech and this wave over here. So guys, comment down below if you like this background. This is a background I made in Photoshop just now, you know, before recording this tutorial. Yes. So now, um, let's move on to Photoshop. Uh, by the way, I have Photoshop CS6, okay? So starting the tutorial go to file new name your file and make the width to 1280 by 720 and click on ok and now this is a white content and yeah so go to go down here and here we do here what we'll do is that we will add a gradient in this background so that the background looks pretty much a good looking you know so you can choose your own gradient so like for me I will choose it quickly so I have the two colors that is foreground and background ready um, now go to this gradient tool over here actually this will be at default to paint bucket tool but just go to gradient and then over here you can see this option comes up gradient just click on this as this will be the default over here you can see this now you can just see this three four two, five options over here uh, this is linear this is radial this is angle angle maybe angle gradient reflected gradient diamond gradient just click on this radial gradient and uh, from the top of your document drag a whole shift and drag it like this okay you can't see any gradient right so we'll just change it change the color a bit to a lighter color so that we can see something like a change you know and now like let's do it let's try out you can just play around you know uh, if you don't think that uh, radial is working out then you can just try out anything else I think I should go a bit down and let's search it now let's do it now damn this looks horrible let's try it now that looks good okay so what I did was I changed the background color to this dark blue and I change the foreground color to lighter blue okay so now I did that I drag the gradient like that and now um, we will add some text you can just play around you know if you don't like this background at all you can just add a paint bucket you can add just a simple color We will just type out the text quickly. So I just made the text quickly and now is the time to set them up in order. Okay, so I will do it quickly. Okay, so I just uh, made them in proper order. Now is the time to make them look better and good looking you know so just click on each text then go to the text tool and here I will choose a new font so for getting interactive attractive looking fonts you need to go to dafont.com I have left a link in the description so go check it out so I have a font downloaded called vintage so it's pretty cool you know 
that's damn cool and let's change the color of it I'll just do it quickly and I will be back once I do all the editing stuff of the text okay so let's I will just fast forward it you know Okay, so I just made the text look more colorful. So now it's the time to add some effects to the to the text, you know. So just click on each text and go to effects, stroke, and just add a simple stroke like uh, around four or maybe three, and then go to drop shadow and drop a shadow. Make the opacity to hundred, distance a bit like no, not that much. Okay, this much. Make the spread uh, a bit down, size a bit, and then click on OK. And to copy this this effect to every text, just click on your the text you had added the effects, and click on right click click upon it, and then go to copy layer style, and then go to the text uh, you which you want the similar effect to be added like make like this text name make uh just click it and paste the layer style and i will do the similar to all the text and that looks super good and i will just bring this a bit like this over here and now is the time to add an image um to add an image go to op file open and I will add something like a uh, I just got the logo just click on your position move tool just click upon it just drag it to your tutorial file and just like this just control T your image file and just shift and just drag it like this and I will just rotate it a bit like this and like this and okay I will just bring this file below all the text so that this te you know see this text is block this image is blocking this text so just click up on it and just drag this layer to below how to and it looks good just click up on it so click on this layer image file just go to stroke and add some stroke to the file I will add a little stroke to the file and then go to drop shadow I know actually the image has a drop shadow but I'm giving you an option that if you want to add a drop shadow you can just add it to your image file if it doesn't has one. So now is the time to add effect to all this. I will just add some curve to this image like this by going down over here to the circle like type and click on it and you can just go to curves. Just click upon like this and make the curve a bit down so it looks chill no it looks crispy haha <laughs> see this this looks good just click upon it and the curve okay that looks good now go back to this and go to brightness and set contrast make the brightness a bit and make the contrast down a bit once you're done with all your stuff like this just go to file save as and just name your file go to jpeg name your file uh, as you have already named it I will just save it on desktop and click on format and make it to jpeg and then click on yes save this will give you a jpeg option just do it like this if you want the best quality of your image just click on progressive scan file quality to large file you want the best quality even the maximum quality so click on ok so guys it's done and now you can just go to youtube and just upload this custom thumbnail to the appropriate video you want this custom thumbnail to belong to 
So guys, you were watching on how to make an attractive looking custom thumbnail for your YouTube videos. So if you want me to make some more tutorials like this, be sure to comment down below on which tutorial I should make next. And please be sure to subscribe and like this video and share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter and any other social networking website. And so guys, be sure to hook with me up on Thursday Tech or Talk as I will make a new video this Thursday Tech or Talk. Okay? So guys, thank you for watching. I will meet you in the next video and with some great videos and you will definitely enjoy it. So guys, thank you for watching. I will meet you next time. Bye-bye and have a nice day.